I start off that way, you know there's something that grinds my gears. Ah! One of the narratives that you will constantly hear in the blackity black pan African uh, comedic uh, Hebrew Israelite uh, all that nonsense stuff black conscious one of the narratives that you hear all the time they feed your emotions is that the white man is the devil the white man is a liar he's a thief he's a murderer He's the greatest raper, rapist on the earth. He's the greatest liar. He's, he's Satan. And the list goes on and on. And we fall for that, and that's cool. And it's a lot of truth to that, right? Blackity black. How you doing? Now, you calling a people devils. You calling a people Satan. You calling them cheaters and liars, deceivers, etc., etc., etc. At the same time, you trying to brag that you're starting a business, you're opening schools, you want to build a town, you want to show everybody your farmland. Uh, what? But the, I thought the white man is evil. But you are investing in the evil, in the white man, on his territory, where he lie, he murder, he cheat, and he rape, and you spit out uh, babies every day. You spit babies out in the house, on the land, under the control, under the domination of the devil, the rapist, and you invest. You out here trying to get your, uh, what they call it, cryptocurrency. You don't, you didn't create cryptocurrency. Telling people to invest gold. You don't control the value of gold or cryptocurrency. You don't control nothing. You don't control the land. Nothing in the house of the devil. Who the white boogeyman. So here I come and tell them the white man can destroy everything that you have. No, he, he can't. White man can't. The white man can take your house. White man can't. The white man can't. If these people want to, they can cut our utilities off. You have no gas, you have no electricity, you have no internet. This is a fact. This is a fact. I don't care how much you pay for your house. They can destroy your house, take your house. This is a fact. If they wanted to, they could put all of us in a concentration camp or they could kill all of us outright. They have that kind of power. You gonna tell me the white man can't. You got your little tiny little guns. These people have tanks and jet planes and nuclear weapons. And you gonna stand in front of your house with your little pop pistol you, you's not gonna take my house. Do, 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 you ain't gonna take my house. I work hard for my house. But you bought it in a place of devils. Satan, he's a liar, he's a cheater, he's a thief, he's a murderer. And then you act like you're shocked because in your mind, you said the white man can't. The white man can't. <laughs> See this blackity black, pan-African pro, black first, their attitude and their narrative is contradictory and is stupid and they live in denial 
like they are a superpower. Where your where your tanks? We have the power of God. <laughs> We're gonna call on our ancestors. Oh ancestors, oh honorable ancestors from Africa, oh come and deal with the, the, the devil, the white man, come and deal. Well, they are right there in Africa and they have not dealt with the white man. White man can't. When you have no power, You can't determine, you can't say what somebody will or will not do. Do you think people want to be in prison? You're going to tell me, oh, they can't put me in prison. They, they will put you in the morgue or you will go to prison. The white man can't. Do you think people wanted to be slaves? They didn't have no power. The white man can't. You, they, you live in denial. You live in, in denial. If for some reason they reinstate the war, you will go to the morgue, you will go to prison, or you are going to go on the battlefield. You ain't going to tell me the white man came. There were many people who did not want to go to war. What did they do? They know they either going to go to war or prison. So they ran, went to other countries. They try to hide because they can, because they can. But you listen to these black power, oh, they, they can't. The only reason why you feel that way is because of people like Dr. King and some good white folks they have laws to protect your happy black power ass, black conscious ass. Because there are some countries, you talk about the white man or the government, they're not going to go for it. Even the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan always say in his speeches, I'm so glad, I, it's a privilege, I'm so lucky to be in America where my speech is protected under the Constitution, even though, even though I have to pay a price. You're not going to talk the way you talk in Russia or if in Afghanistan or some of these African nations or in China. The way you talk and run your silly ass mouth you wouldn't be able to, to do that in these other countries because they can. You don't have no damn power. It's like when somebody put a gun on you, you don't want to give them your money. Are you going to tell that robber, you can't rob me? Very few people are going to tell a robber, a carjacker, you you can't do that. Yes, I can. I got a gun. What do you have? You want to take a chance on your life? We have no power. These blackity pro-black folks talk about what they, what I'm not going to do. Either you die or you go to the morgue. It, it makes no difference to them because they can. You can't tell... You going around here talking about the white man can't. He ain't going to do nothing to me. You have no power. Whatever you build, here you are investing in businesses and farmland and you buying houses and you building towns and talk about and you telling our people, you telling the so-called Negro in America, you need to buy some land, you need to buy some property, own your own house, own your own business. You don't control the laws. You have no power, no influence. At any time, 
those who are in power can take your crap, destroy it. They can they can do something simple like this. Charge you with a false crime. They have the right to put you in jail for a certain period of time. And they know. This has happened to a lot of people. They know you're innocent. They know you didn't do anything. But they will force you to spend your money on legal charges. In the meantime, you're not around to pay your bills. Whatever business, whatever farmland, whatever you got going, somebody, you have to have income. They can keep you locked up. They can freeze your assets. And you didn't do nothing. But you have been charged with a crime. We think that you're part of the dope gang. And so by the time you get out of your situation that they frame you for, you're destroyed. And they sit back and laugh. All your all your little money, all your little it's been it's been destroyed. Because they can. What what can you do about it? Absolutely nothing. So these people want to sit, sit around me and talk like they bad and tough. You're not bad and tough. That's not, we don't look at the, you're, you're living in denial. And that's because the white man's law protect you from reality. And they let you, they allow you to run your big ass dumb mouth. Right now Ukraine is at war. Somebody owns those buildings. Somebody owns businesses in Ukraine. And those Russians are bombing and tearing all those businesses and building, tearing all that stuff up. Who gonna pay? And even after the war is over, is Russia gonna pay to rebuild all that stuff? White man can't. Russia can't do this. Well, Russia is doing it. Because they can. Because they can. We are so caught up in this blackity black. It's nothing but religion. Feel good rhetoric. Make you feel good, emotional. That's how they get you. White man is the devil. Black man is God. Just fill you up with all this emotion. But when the reality come down and it's put to the test, you lose. Some of you have already lost. Some of you have already spent millions and millions of dollars giving your time and your effort for at least the last 50 years involved in all this Blackity black, black first, pro black, blackity stuff. Quite honestly, what have you benefited? What have you gotten? Absolutely nothing. You're not prepared for nothing. You can't defend yourself. It has not given you any power. And if you don't have any power, if you don't have a real weapon, I'm not talking about God. And if God loved you like that, God would have gave you the sense. To put yourself in a position to give you power so you can defend what you built. So what's the sense of investing in crypto and building all these buildings and farmland and all like that? When you say out of your mouth, the white man's the devil and a liar and a murderer, and you investing in his carnage. 